Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Elisa Singer. I am the artist and founder of Environmental Graffiti. What's that? Well, it is a series of digital paintings that are each derived from a chart, a graph, a map, sometimes a word or a number, all relating to key facts about climate science. And I'm very excited to talk to you about how you might want to um, work with the art or maybe create some art from science yourself. When I retired from practicing law, I decided that I wanted to somehow combine art with something that meant something to me and something that I cared about. I began to explore whether art could be used to help enhance public communication about climate change. I believe art is a uniquely powerful and effective tool for this purpose because it does draw on people from every kind of background, every place on earth. I do believe that climate change is an issue that we can understand without being scientists. What drew me to this whole project was the idea that there are aesthetic elements to charts and graphs and maps. I mean, there's lots of dramatic different lines that ultimately can be used to create art, but also graphs come in different formats. You know, there's some of them are round, there are bars, there's squiggly lines, there's straight lines, there's, there's all different ways. So these are geometric elements that ultimately form the basis for the art. And sometimes I'll use a, a keyword or number and that word would become like the texture. It's all different ways of providing an underlying sketch. I try not to think about the subject matter when I'm creating the art. What I'm going for is sort of a double take or a surprise. So you look at a work of art and it appears to be abstract. I use very bright, highly saturated colors to draw people in because that's what this is all about. It's to get you in the room, get your attention. I want you to be sort of startled when you realize what it really is about. And I think that gets you more interested and engaged. When I start the work, it's all about experimentation and saying, I like that, let me go in that direction. But I like it to be dramatic and bold, but I do think it's important to jar people into realizing, oh, really, that's what that is about? And then I think you might look more closely at the underlying message in the science and be more interested and maybe try and find, where's that graph, where's that line, where's that trajectory show up in the art? And there's a back and forth process that just gets you engaged and interested and ultimately I think makes you be more likely to retain what you're learning about the science. expressing an individual creativity, which really is individual expression. And as long as you're willing to just hear yourself, listen to yourself, and use whatever vehicle is of interest to you, it can be ceramics. I've seen some amazing data knitted into sweaters and blankets and scarves. Art can be created from found objects. It can be anything that you want it to be. Music, it's dance. It's all about what attracts you, what moves you. And you don't need to feel that you're trained as an artist or trained as a scientist. Um, allow yourself the freedom to create just because every human has that right to do that. There are no rules in art and, and anybody who loves to create it can consider themselves an artist.